All right, what's up, YouTube? Just got back from uh, the midnight release for the PS4. What can I say? What can I say? It was uh, pretty cool. So let's just get straight into this unboxing here. Now, I know you guys are going to hate me for what just happened to that box. Man. Uh, let's just say that that box got opened upside down. But here uh, you can see the first look at the PS4 controller, which I already have a video on my channel. So you guys can go check that out. You haven't seen, but unlike the separate PS4 controller that you can buy, this one comes with little plastics on the buttons. So that's cool. I guess it's the same, you know, same exact thing as the standard. So you know, nothing different there. Triggers are nice. Everything's cool. Uh, man, you guys should have seen that, uh, that release though, was something to see. These little packets are just, you know, the manuals, and that can, that first one on top contains the 30-day trial for PlayStation Plus, and the second one's just a manual, it's nothing special. Uh, we got the little mic. I'm having mixed feelings about the mic, I don't really think it's that cool at all, actually and a micro USB to charge the controllers so uh, it doesn't have to be a specific micro USB like if you already have an Android phone that works too so you know whatever you can use then uh, HDMI cord they included it woo yay and just a regular power cord because PlayStation already has the brick inside so you don't have to have anything extra so that's a plus then look at this baby Oh, so sexy that console is. Wrapped up nice and sealed tight. And foam. By the way, if you guys didn't know, that box was upside down. Uh, taking a look at the front, you have uh, two USBs for your chargers. There's going to be some accessories. The sides, there's uh, nothing there but inserts for the stand that you can get. There's nothing on that side with vents. You know, just showing the bottom nothing there and the back and we'll go even further into the back in just a moment we're going to give you guys a couple close-ups of the grills and everything that's back there that uh, two-tone design is really sweet on the PS4 it really, uh, really looks cool there's a lot of vents back there so I'd imagine how cool that goes that's what I wanted you guys to see really but I'll take a look at that two-tone design right in the middle. What separates it is a light. As I know, it uh, the light turns blue when you power it on, and after a while, it stays white. So it's cool. Like I said, that's the side where the stand, so you can have it horizontal, will lay on. And there's there's nothing there on that side. The bottom is just plain basic that keeps the serial number on it nothing too interesting there at all really but on the back you have your optical out cable your HDMI your LAN port and that external one for the camera and your power cord so that's basically all you get and since this is a next-gen console they finally included HDMI cables so with this little uh, mic it's uh, this is some little rinky dink one ear I don't know. It's not really cool, you know. I don't. I don't see anything special about it at all. Like if I were you guys, I would get a gaming headset, which I plan to do really soon because that mic's really not cool. It, it feels cheap. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. There's a, you know, a, just a regular HDMI cable. That's all you get. There's nothing uh, fancy about it. Just. It's just an HDMI cable. And here is the micro USB to charge the controllers. Um, it's really cool now because now you can use all the cell phone chargers with your controller too. So that's just something else to see. And that right there was just a little power cord. Nothing special. There's that controller with that little touch sensor the front, that share button, and the option button. And that light that glows up different colors. 
depending on what you're doing and what player you are. Um, thanks for checking out this video. We will have the uh, Xbox One up, but subscribe.